Hello everybody, it has been such a such a long time since I've done another update on the city of Mark 45. I know you guys have kind of missed this series given the fact that I've been doing a lot of other stuff lately. Well, we are finally back and I'm super super thrilled to announce that there is a new area that has opened in the city. Now what I'm walking through right now, it is the other half of the city of Mark 45. In the near future, when it's more complete, I will show you guys and make a full video on it. For now, I just don't feel like it's complete enough to show you guys because there's still a lot of exciting things coming and a lot of different style of buildings. But like, uh, let me just tell you, a lot has been added since the last update video and I am very, very excited. So where are we going today is we're going we're gonna to head a little bit out of the main city. And, of course, every city has a neighborhood, a neighborhood of residential homes where people live and thrive <laughs> with their actual houses. So, of course, the city is going to have that, but it doesn't have the modern neighborhood residential area just yet. Um, we've taken the liberty to make sure that the wealthy class people have been taken care of in this city as well. So today we're going to be heading on to Highway 45, and then we're going to take an exit, and you're going to see an ATM6 model built by Darren, and let me tell you, he takes a lot of pride in that ATM6, because it did spend him quite a long time to make this spectacular model, and this particular model is there to attract tourists who are visiting the rich neighborhood, that's right, we're looking at the rich neighborhood today, and the title is pretty self-explanatory, you probably know what it's about. You're going to see where the rich people live, including us. I mean, after all, we are, after all, the the leaders of the city. So, once we've taken the exit, now we're crossing over into the border to Vic's land. Now, this is where everything becomes more peaceful instead of more metropolitan. And we're now going to loop around the walker. And this is where the road kind of splits off into two. But before that, let me just show you the walker real quick. Like, just look at the walker from this angle. How cool is that? That is awesome. It is a one way to symbolize the rich neighborhood. Now, this is where the road kind of splits. Uh, we go forward, it will go to a future campsite of the city called Camp Valorant. Vic is currently working on that, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see that appear sometime soon. But the rich neighborhood is actually this way, through this road. Now we're going to cross the border again, back into the city of Mark 45. Just like that. And we are now in the rich neighborhood, starting off with my house. That's right. I, of course, need my own house. But we'll show you that in a second. I guess I want to go deeper into the neighborhood to show you the other houses. Here we are. Once we turn around... It's all the houses from here. Welcome to the rich neighborhood. All these houses are about five to six thousand. All these houses are about fifty to sixty thousand dollars each, which is already not a lot if you compare the estate prices to real life places in the real life cities. But in our in our terms, fifty to sixty grand is a lot to afford these houses. We're, we're going to show you the houses more individually in a bit because well there are some more houses there's some houses I like to like stretch out a bit and just dive deeper into exploring so we're just gonna head out out of the main neighborhood now we're just gonna head straight to my house this the mark 45's home here we are so of course I have my own garage so we're just gonna park my horse through here. It's my garage, very very nice. There's my Tesla. I'll show you guys that in a bit. And let's just drop you off. Let's drop you off right here, horsey. Wonderful. All right. So my garage holds Steveston, my pet pig. Uh, Steveston is my OG pig. He's been around since day one of the world, so he's very very special to me. And then my other two horses that used to work for me now uh, they're retired in my home. They used to be in the Twin Towers. Okay, so this is my home. As you can see, it is located on top of a mountain because I kind of like that 
aerial view from above the mountain, and I feel like that's usually how modern houses are interpreted. So here's my house address. There we go. Yeah, y'all can come over now and <laughs> and stalk me. Um, that's my driveway. That's my garage. This is my gate. Just you know, in case I don't want stuff wandering into my garage and my driveway. So we come up here to the main entrance, and yes, you do have to take a small flight of stairs up to get to my house. Um, if you are my mailman and you're delivering stuff to my house, I apologize in advance. And actually over here you can see a nicer view of the ATM6. Very, very nice. In the future, Darren says he wants to build an X-Wing charging straight at it, but that's for the future. Got a nice flower bed here. You know, I, I love flowers. Give them It gives a nice aroma and... This looks nice. Alright, this is my mailbox, and of course I need my banner. This is like my like lobby. We go up the stairs here. Alright, welcome to my patio. Of course, um, I've got to get my own bleachers. Got to have a hot tub, have a pool. This is my cam my little campfire if I want to have a Sunday night roast with some friends. You can actually see a lot of stuff. You can actually see the walker here. You can see the camp. Um, sometime in the future, I'm planning to expand that area and make it a, a a dolphin or turtle pool. I'm just and yes, these are chairs. I'm just chilling in. Yeah, you know, Sunday night roast by the campfire, of course. All right, here is the hot tub or the jacuzzi. Doesn't really function, but it, it's pretty. It's a pretty good interpretation of a jacuzzi. Just look at me, just chilling there. So I can hang out with friends, you know? You know what I'm saying? And then we have my actual pool here. Of course, if I want to go for some swims, here we are. Yeah, don't ask why I made it out of ice. I just feel like ice kind of worked well with the color scheme. So, yeah, alright. Let's go up to the main patio. This is, again, like another outdoor table. And the main entrance of the house is actually on the side, right here. You can actually see the rest of the neighborhood from here, which is not shabby at all. Uh, yeah, you can actually see all the houses, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. And, yeah. That's Nate's house over there. Uh, it's not quite complete, so I won't show that just yet today. So let's just enter the house. Let's enter the house. Alright. First and foremost, I care about view. View is very important. Here are my pets, my dogs and my cats. Here are my parrots. <laughs> yep. I have a lot of parrots. This is my kitchen. Very, very nice. Um, what else do I have? Let's see. Oh yeah, this thing. It's a toaster. Yes, I have my own toaster. Sink. Got a nice view <laughs> as I'm washing the dishes. Got my stove, table, um, dining area. This is like my... Oh yeah, this is the map of the city. Or what is there of the city so far. In the future, of course, there will be much more to see. So, the main city is right here, right? That's like the main city of Mark 45. And then the rich neighborhood, you can see if you look at the bottom, just right here, is like, yeah, it's off to the side. It's sort of close to the city, but it's not attached part of the city. So this is my, like, workspace. This is my gaming chair. Yes, very nice. Another nice view of my bamboos. Uh, like, like I said, in the future, I'm planning to make a turtle farm, or not turtle farm, like a, just a turtle pool over there. This is like my giant, not so well built TV, <laughs> and then this just goes out to the rest of the the patio. It's just another entrance. There's that, yeah. And then down here, just got a ladder system because I didn't have room to build a stairway, so I just made a ladder that goes down to my basement, which goes down to my garage. So. Made some very, made a very nice hallway here, very very nice. And we come out, boom! We are in my garage with everything else, this is all my necessities, my horses. This is Dave Davies. This is Dave and Steveston, my OG pig, who is not looking at the camera. He's very very shy. Come on, Steveston, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the viewers. There we go. Hi, Steveston. What's up, Steveston? OG pig. I hope you guys all remember that. Okay. Just my workspace here. Here's my Tesla. Uh, this is like 10 grand for my house, which is actually not a lot if you compare this to real life stuff. 
if it's like the economy in in real life yeah 10 grand for this house it ain't a lot i hope you guys know that okay yeah this is my tesla and then rest of my garage goes out here you can see that's a my that's my garage door that's opened just to mimic it uh fortunately i cannot make it close <laughs> too much redstone need And of course, I will have a second level. I mean, that's kind of bad, right? So this is my stairway. Kind of small, claustrophobic, but I had to make do whatever space I had. So, upstairs, second level. So, this is like my chill, relax area. You get a very, very nice view of the world from here and the ocean. And then when you see this at sunset, which I'm going to do right now, give me a second. Time set, sunset. Oh, yeah. Look at that view. I just love sunsets and sunrises, honestly. It's like the most beautiful thing I've seen. Of course, in the future, there will be a camp there, and yeah, I'll be able to see the campsite from my house. But yeah, look at this view. It's not too shabby. Okay, let's make it back today. Oh my god, I'm getting sleepy. And then, over here now. This is my bathroom, very, very tiny bathroom, I know given that this house was a little expensive, but, yep, working toilet, working sink, I can see Nate's house here again, this is my shower, of course, gotta stay hygiened, very, very important, <laughs> kind of a claustrophobic bathroom, but I think it's fine. Alright, here is a more zoomed in map of the rich neighborhood, as you can see, yeah, the neighborhood is actually isn't that big. There's my house over there. And then we go inside. Just like the rest of the houses. Look at that. Yeah, it's not not too shabby. Not too shabby. There's the walker. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Alright. Now, let's go to my main bedroom. Oh yeah, I have a lot of windows. Because I somehow don't care about privacy. Although, I will be able to see my bamboos. Very important, I'll see my bamboos from here. Um, so like my workspace, my enchanting stuff, and it just goes outside to another balcony. My motor table just to sit down and chill and look at that beacon I have over there with that unnecessary tower. That tower has a secret reason, and I'm not going to share why. But look, another, just, yeah, I can see the patio. From the balcony, so how cool is that? <laughs> Alright, so let's go back into my room now. Okay, um, this is my bed. Yes, double beds, <laughs> just for the boys. And yeah, okay, cool. That's like, that's like basically my room. Alright, so that's basically my house. Um, it's not a lot, you know, but of course... I don't want to be living in the Twin Towers because I feel like that's just living at work. I kind of want my own house separated away from society. So this is it. This is my house. And in the future here, I will be expanding the side where the bamboos are. So yeah, that is my house. But of course, that's not the only house. That's not the only house in the rich neighborhood. There's a lot of houses in the rich neighborhood, including Darren's. Nate's and by the time you're watching this video I don't know what house Vix will be she's still she hasn't gone on yet to choose an actual house for herself but all these houses were built from scratch uh, they did take a very long time to make some of them had a little bit of tutorial influence and some other ones are just completely made up an OG for example like my own house I didn't know what I was going for here uh, I've I made a I made another house before this one on the same site, and it looked like a church. I wasn't happy with it. I didn't like the way it turned out. The, the color was off. Everything was just bad. So I tore down the house and I came up with this one. But I kind of I kind of just went with it on the go. Like I didn't really 
plan anything in advance. I didn't know what what I wanted to go for. So I just imagined what would a modern house look like. So yeah, I I came up with this, and I gotta say, just to give myself some credit, I I don't think that's a bad design at all. I'm actually pretty quite happy with the way this house turned out. And the garage, I, I thought. Uh, my idea was because I didn't have room for a garage, but then I think I figured, well, my house is sitting on the mountain, so why don't I just dig into the mountain and build my garage inside the mountain? So I did exactly just that, and I I am very very satisfied, I'm very happy with the way this this turned out. Just super happy. So, what do you guys think of my house? What improvements do you think I could do? And what do you think is well, what good things? Are for the house. What do you guys appreciate about the house? I want to hear your feedback. Like, I don't know. This this house did take it, it took me an entire evening. It didn't take me multiple days. It took me like about two hours to complete. But in the end, I was very happy with the result that it came up with. So, yeah. So this is my house, Mark Forty Five's house. You w- you would think it's a mansion. Well, it's really more just a modern house. I am just yeah. I'm genuinely happy with the way this turned out. So, yeah, that is my house. Let's look over now at the other houses that we've got in stock. All right, let's move on to the other houses. Now, this rich neighborhood, of course, not a lot of people have money, so you can't really expect a lot of people to live in their rich neighborhood. It's more like for us, the world creators, me, Nate, Vic, AJ, Darren, Ash. Uh, now nah, I'm not counting Gordon. He hasn't gone on the city enough. But you know what? Yeah, this is like this is like us. This is where the boys hang out and live, and a bunch of rich villagers who have a lot of money and will also live here. Already got a couple who moved in. Not really too much on the inside. Just gonna show you guys these houses, like more, just more on the outside. It's more, it's more about the outside of the house. Like there's not a lot of stuff inside the houses. You would think I would be putting a lot of effort inside the houses, but. Again, this was a collaborative effort. I didn't do this all by myself. Some houses I just based off the modern houses I've seen IRL, but apart from that, not too much. This is built on a forest biome, which is great because I love the gr- the color of the grass blocks in uh, forest biome. Because unlike snow biomes, the grass is very light and pale, and I don't like that. It just doesn't fit with the theme of the houses of a of a peaceful neighborhood. So this fits exactly just that, although there is a mountain next to it, but we've adapted with the mountain, and I built my house on top of the mountain. Now this house in particular over here, this is Darren's house, and of course, Darren, being Darren, will probably want me to showcase this house, because he did spend quite the amount of time, and he did a lot of stuff in his house, so it only makes sense that I show you guys what is in this house. Most of these houses, some, yeah, like I said earlier, some were like done with tutorials, some were just built from scratch, some I just, I didn't even know what I was doing. But, yeah, hope you guys like these houses. Alright, here we are, Darren's house. Here's his dress. First and foremost, this is his, like, front yard. Got a nice swing here on his tree. Very nice. So he needs some time to chillax too, you know. And then we go over here now, and then we can see this is, he also has a bamboo garden. I'm not the only one. And then this is his jacuzzi, his version of jacuzzi, with actual smoke coming out, unlike mine. (laughs) Very nice. And then, let's go, let's go over, yeah, let's show you the upstairs first. So if we go here, we can go upstairs. And this is like his his version of a balcony slash patio. This is his grill. Yes, this is a grill. Yes, how cool does that look? All right, this is his like table. Very nice. Got a pretty nice view. There is a water elevator here, but it's more like just for the sake of design. I mean, what kind of house has a waterfall? Darren's, of course, apparently. <laughs> so that we are now in his yard. And this is his horse. This is his other horse. This is his like little shed for his storage items. I mean to store his items. My god. And then we come back here, just get another view of the snow forest, which will soon be more city stuff. 
Yes, sir. Come back here now. Let's just go back out. And then this is his garage of a super thick car. Look at that car. It is dummy thick. Very, very nice. Yeah. All right. Back out to the main house now. This is like his main living room. Some bookshelves here. Fireplace. <laughs> um, this is where he chillaxes and watches some TV. His TV design, hands down, is so much better than mine. Mine was just, ugh. I don't even know what mine is. I don't even know if that was a TV. But his is actually a dis decent TV. Painting, nothing behind there, don't worry. This is just another access point to the jacuzzi. And then... Let's see, let's go downstairs first. That door there, that just goes to his garage. Alright, downstairs. This is where his kitchen is. Yes, his kitchen is in the basement. Very nice kitchen, as well as his dining area. And then... Over here, this is like his bathroom. Of course, every house needs a bathroom. It only makes sense. Fish tank. He's got his own fish. Something I don't have. I got my dogs, cats, and parrots. Alright, and here, just another chillax room, you know, with a fireplace. And then back here, what makes his house special? He's got his own wine cellar. Darren is a big fan of wine. And this is where his library is. He has a lot of books. And then, it's just a nice view of the ocean, once again. You're looking at what will soon be more of the city, and this is what it looks like from an outside point of view. We'll get to more of that in a second. Okay, so, this is, this is something really special. You made that really cool shelf, but look at that. Alright, so let's come down here. This is his fitness room, of course, you gotta stay fit, and he was smart enough to make a fitness room. Got a punching bag, got a treadmill here. Very nice. Uh, that's it for the room. Okay, let's go back up now. What that shelf. Okay, this, I believe this goes to his bedroom. Yes, sir. This is his bedroom. Another view of the ocean. This is his closet. Grandfather clock, actually. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, back here, this is his personal bathroom with a bathtub and a shower so yeah most of Darren's house as you can see it's most of the the real deal is happening underground you don't really see it on the surface so yeah, his house is essentially actually bigger than mine so there's that so that is Darren's house what do you guys think of his house do you think all this underground shenanigans was unnecessary or do you think it was an excellent idea because well Yes, he's taking the modern house design, just like me, but he's making he's making sure his living space is all underground. Alright, other houses, so there, we got this house. See, nothing inside. Uh, up here, yes, that goes to Nate's house, but his is not done yet, so I'm not going to show that just yet. This is just another house. Another house, more houses, let me see, let me just go over, oh yeah, in this house, one particular special reason for this house, it is the backyard, I really love the backyard for this house, so if you're picking this house, you're in a good, and it comes with a pig, yes, it comes with a pig, very nice backyard, just to chill and relax, yeah, and of course, the pig is complimentary, it's a free pet, not food. It's a pet. Okay. Here's another house. This one has a garage, as you can see. This one's kind of blocked up for now until someone moves in. And then let's let's see what other houses have I not shown. I've shown mine. I've shown Darren this house. This house has two pools. Cause why not? This house is kind of like, yeah. There's that. And then just a letter yard on the back here. Just for the neighborhood people to just chill. Um, this house. Yeah, this house's design is out of the ordinary. I mean, there this house I did base it off a tutorial. If you search up this house or search up modern Minecraft modern house tutorials, you'll probably see that. This house was one of the few I came up with from scratch. I think Vic will want this house. I I don't know, I'm just assuming. 
but yeah, this is that's one of the houses I came from scratch. This is a, also another house that I made from scratch. This is Darren's neighbor. Whoever's gonna move in is gonna have Darren as his neighbor. This one actually has some decent stuff inside. Is that and yeah. So what more can I show? I think I think that's it. Uh, I guess we'll just end off by showing you guys the ATM6 because I'm pretty sure I've attracted a bunch of you guys into seeing the ATM6 and what's there. Once again, the ATM6, it is built by Darren. So, and he's, please, give him some credit. He's taken a lot of time to make that. Oh yeah, first and foremost, this tower. In case you're wondering, this, this is my watchtower for the rich neighborhood. Okay, the main walker. This is from The Last Jedi. It is the First Order ATAT. -AT. Not... The Empire one. I think this this one looks cooler. Just look at that. Look at the immense details and all the little nick knickers and crooks and nannies you have to like work with here. Yeah, so this is gonna be a tourist attraction of the city. One of the seven wonders of the city of Mark 45. Because why not? Why not, right? Oh yeah. So you could go inside. But there's actually not much to see on the inside. But yeah. Main attraction. Very, very nice. Of a command block. Okay, so that is actually it for the video for the rich neighborhood. Um just wanna update you guys on the city. Um just wanna show you guys what is there so far. Of course, it's not entirely done, so in the future I will probably update you guys on the rich neighborhood and everything else there is. And of course, I'll update you guys on the city when there's more stuff because there's a lot of things that have been added, but I just didn't have the chance to show them yet due to time. But hope you guys enjoyed this brand new episode of The City of Mark 45. If you did, make sure to hit that like button on this video and subscribe to the channel for more because we've got more coming your way very soon. I love doing Minecraft videos. I feel like there's so much better than Fortnite videos. And it just it's just a way to showcase... All the hard work me and my team has been putting through to make this world possible. So, you guys have been amazing. See you on the next one. Bye for now. Have a great day. Yeah.